Hi, I'm Lucia Cronin, and I'm a scouting volunteer. I serve as the Central Region Membership Chairman and the National Cub Scout Recruitment Chairman. For many years, I was a Cub Scout Den Leader and PAC Committee Chairman. During that time, we used a process for recruiting new Den Leaders and organizing new Cub Scout Dens. If your PAC has a process for recruiting top-notch Den Leaders and launching new Dens, please continue to do whatever you are doing. If not, we recommend you follow the process I am about to describe. The Tiger Cub Den Leader is the most important person in the Boy Scouts of America. A boy's first experience in Boy Scouting and that of his family is in Tiger Cubs. A successful positive experience as a Tiger Cub will keep a boy in Scouting. If this is not the experience he has, we will lose him and his family for the remainder of his Scouting years. Spring Recruitment, Tiger Cub Season. Parents make choices regarding their children's fall activities in the preceding spring. If we do not recruit and register the new Tiger Cubs in the spring, we often do not get them in the fall. After the den has been organized in the spring, a few fun activities during the summer months will be sufficient to hold their interest until regular den and pack activities begin in the fall. Recruit the best. Having an effective Tiger Cub den leader is the single strongest determinant of a boy having a successful positive experience. Good den leaders attract and retain the boys in their dens. During the months of September through January, the Cub Scout PAC leaders, that is, the PAC committee chair or Cub Master, or den leaders or den coach, should foster a relationship with the kindergarten teachers, raise the awareness of the teachers and school principal about Cub Scouting. The PAC should invite the kindergarten through fifth grade teachers and the school principal to Cub Scout events, such as the Bobcat Ceremony. If the PAC conducts a service project for the school, Make certain the school principal and teachers are aware of it. In fact, you may want to go to your school principal to ask for suggestions for a service project your PAC could do for your school. If the Weebelows are completing the Scholar Activity Badge, invite the school principal to meet with the boys to fulfill some of the badge requirements. In February and March, meet briefly after school, or whenever it's convenient, with one or all of the kindergarten teachers to ask for their help in identifying potential Tiger Cub Den leaders for the following year from among the kindergarten parents. Make certain the teachers understand the qualities we are seeking in a den leader. Highly organized, works well with children, and communicates effectively with adults. Invite the kindergarten through fifth grade teachers and the school principal to the PAC's Blue and Gold Banquet. Remember, you're still fostering that relationship. By inviting them to these activities, they will see what Cub Scouting does for a boy and likely be supportive of our recruitment efforts. During the same time period, ask existing Cub Scout parents and Cub Scout volunteers for suggestions of kindergarten parents who would be well qualified to become new den leaders. In March and April, ask the kindergarten teachers for the names of those they would recommend to be den leaders. If the people recommended are not known to the Cub Scout volunteer making this request, ask the teachers to introduce the parent to you. If possible, make informal inquiries about the people recommended by the teacher. It is very important to find the right person to be a den leader. In April, when you have your short list of potential new leaders, have the person best suited to make the ask, do so. If a current den leader has recommended a friend to become a new den leader, and you have concluded this person is a good candidate, have the den leader ask the friend to become a new den leader for the following year. If you, as PAC committee chair or some other PAC leader, have received the name from the kindergarten teacher, you could make the ask. Be certain to explain the rewards and responsibilities of den leadership to the candidate. You could say, it's the greatest job in the world, and you have only one window of opportunity to do it. Occasionally, the person who wants the job of den leader is not well suited for the position. This can be a challenging situation to handle. Be prepared for it. Tell that person you would like them to do a different, specific job for the pack. Perhaps they could be a scouting for food driver or assist with setup for the Blue and Gold Banquet. 
in early May, receive an acceptance from one or more of the new Tiger Cub leaders you have recruited. Schedule a Tiger Cub organizational meeting, sometimes called a roundup night, and invite the parents of all the kindergarten boys to attend. Prior to this meeting, conduct a boy talk, if possible, with all of the kindergarten boys. Sometimes the kindergarten teachers will allow this to be conducted at the end of recess, so it does not interfere with classroom time. Keep the boy talk to approximately five minutes in length. Tell the boys about all of the fun they will have in Cub Scouts. Tell them it is very important that their parents attend the organizational meeting next week on Tuesday night at seven o'clock right here in the school library. You might choose to give the boys a small something to introduce them to Cub Scouts and encourage them to want to join. In our council, we gave the boys bug suckers for several years Give each boy a colorful flyer to take home with the date, time, and location of the parent organizational meeting. Have the boys place the flyers in their backpacks immediately before returning to their classroom. You might also send an email notification about the meeting to all of the boys' parents. In mid-May, following the boy talk, conduct the organizational meeting with the parents of the kindergarten boys. Introduce the new den leader but do not require him or her to conduct the parent meeting. Use the meeting as a way to recruit the families into Cub Scouting. Display large 8 by 10 inch photographs of Cub Scouts in your pack participating in fun activities. Display the Cub Scout uniform. Bring Tiger Cub helium filled balloons. Bring Tiger Cub handbooks. Many of the parents will want to see the handbooks. Explain how the program is conducted, frequency of den meetings, frequency of pack meetings and other pack activities. Allow time for questions and answers. Complete the registration forms with the parents and collect the fees at this meeting. Provide the parents with a calendar of a few activities the DEN will complete during the summer. Include a couple of DEN activities and a couple of pack activities. It need not be too many, but it should be enough so that the boys feel they have had Cub Scout experiences during the summer even if family activities preclude them from attending all of the Cub Scout activities. It is also nice to schedule the activities in a way that make it possible for the boys to earn the Summertime Pack Award. It is best to complete the parent organizational meeting in one hour or less. Send those Tiger Cub helium filled balloons home with that new Tiger Cub den leader. In late May and during the summer, make certain the planned summer activities occur. Some ideas for those activities would be having a family picnic or cookout for the den, marching in the July 4th parade, going to a baseball game with the den families, or having a campfire and marshmallow roast in a local park for your Cub Scout pack families. Provide the new Tiger Cub den leader with the support needed to have a successful den. It's especially important to continue to provide this support during the den's first year. Make yourself available to answer questions from the parents and the new DEN leader. In Boy Scouting, we are developing a new generation of young people who are prepared to make a positive difference in every aspect of life. Let's help them get off to the right start.